Belize High School is the champion of this year's Sajikor Visionaries Challenge. They successfully presented the idea entitled Power of Nuisance. In second place was San Pedro High School with their project entitled Papaya Powder. St. Catherine Academy was awarded third place for their idea of Bolster Up. Those were only three of 12 projects presented today by five different secondary schools. The Sajikor Visionaries Challenge is a yearly competition open to secondary school students from across the Caribbean. The initiative, the initiative speaks or seeks to boost institutional capacity in science, technology, engineering and mathematics (STEM) in secondary schools. Sajikor's corporate communications manager Marlene Chin says that the challenge is to encourage students to develop effective, innovative and sustainable solutions to the challenges facing their communities or schools. Sajiko Financial Corporation is 175 years old. How do we ensure that we are around for another 175 years? Okay, And it is really through an investment in our youth and ensuring that our youth ensures our future. And that would be through the disciplines of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Ensuring, as we highlighted this morning, the need for our own sustainable future impacts like climate change is having a negative impact on our ability to survive and so Sajiko saw it fit to invest in a program like the Sajiko Visionaries Challenge. The more exciting part of this year's challenge would be the recognition in terms of the prize structure um, we've increased in terms of the types of prizes. We've gone very much digital age, um, so it's a lot of digital type prizes. But more importantly, we are recognizing entrepreneurship as one of the prizes. As you would have heard the minister just quoted um, and appreciated that we are recognizing entrepreneurship in these programs. It also reinforces the need for the call to the Chamber of Commerce and its members to fund some of these projects and bring them to fruition. Minister of Education Patrick Faber says that Sajikor Visionary Challenge has his and his ministry's full support. You see that a lot of what is being done here, in fact, utilizes the CSEC syllabus. And so, uh, of course, it also engages the students and the schools. And so we support that because it advances our agenda in the ministry, too. Uh, we love to see corporate partners uh, give a hand in terms of building the, the society, but especially when it comes to education, because that's our in, uh, agenda in the Ministry of Education. And um, we believe that this is, of course, uh, the key to many of the developmental issues that we have here in Belize. So we salute uh, Sajikor in this endeavor. So were you impressed with what you saw today? I was absolutely impressed. I mean, these were great ideas. I remember coming to that first challenge. I don't think that I was here for the second one. But uh, I have seen great improvement. And, you know, what goes on here is much more than just the, um, the STEM uh, aspects. You see the students, you know, they have to learn their, their, their pitch phrases and so on. You see them, uh, you know, I, I believe we found a few uh, replacement politicians for those UDP politicians who are retiring because these young people were very articulate. They spoke uh, very, uh, you know, knowledgeably about their subjects that they, that they selected. And, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's more than, the, than just the STEM aspect of it. It is the overall development of the students that you can see on full display here. So, yes, I was very, very pleased with what I saw. Belize High School will represent Belize at the regional competition in Florida, USA, in July.